Hey guys, Tanks here. Uh, what? Who'd even make a game this boring? So we're going to do something a little different this time and take a look at a game editor that I found recently and thought was pretty neat. It's incredibly easy to use, even with zero experience of any kind in regards to coding or art or even game design in general. It's simply called Bitsy. I made this shitty little game that you can play in your browser. The link will be in the description. The editor itself is very easy to use, but it's also extremely limiting in what it can do, which is simultaneously its greatest asset and its biggest setback. The limitations force you to get creative, and they also make sure that your scope stays very narrow and manageable, which if you've ever tried making a game before, you'd know can be a very difficult thing to do. You always want to add more cool things to your game, but it can quickly get out of hand and turn your simple Pong game you could make in an afternoon into a science-based dragon MMO that requires years of development and a team of 200. As I said, the limitations are also a huge weakness though. I've had some experience with other editors, such as Unity and Unreal, and I've done a bit of coding, so I'm used to having a lot more freedom when I'm working on a game. The inability to do just about anything in regards to game mechanics and interactions was frustrating as hell. But like I said, it kept me on track and focused on a singular goal, which was to create a short narrative experience. Narrative experiences are all you'll ever really be able to make with Bitsy, and the art style of a Bitsy game is very identifiable due to the constraints of the editor. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. This tool is incredibly useful for people who have never made a game before, and is a great way to get started on your journey of game development. But you will need to pretty quickly branch out to more robust tools if you want to progress further down that road. Having said that, if you just like making cute stories for your friends to explore, this tool is perfect for you. Over the years, I have started dozens of games and never finished any of them. Bitsy was the first time I sat down and forced myself to create one from start to finish, and I did so over the course of about a week, with 15 to 20 hours of work all told, and while it's nothing like the games that I really want to make, simply finishing one and being able to have it out there in other people's hands was a great experience. I'll put a link to Bitsy itself below, next to the link to the game that I made with it. I suggest downloading and using Bitsy through itch.io's launcher, but you can use Bitsy directly from your browser. But yeah, that's about all I have for now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.